women that choose to either like do porn or do sex work, there's this whole idea of like, you have to be being made to do this. Someone's pimping you out, someone's exploiting you, or like, who hurt you? I think in some regards, like there are people who have been hurt, but I think that is totally isolated from their decision to be in porn or their decision to be in sex work in the first place. For sure, there's a stereotype of a porn star. There's for sure that idea that comes to your mind. I, I mean, anyone's mind, even mine before I started in porn, that, you know, oh, if she's in porn, she must have gone through some kind of trauma or she's a drug addict or th there must be some reason she's doing porn that's not a love of porn. But it's not everyone's story and it's not even most of our stories. I think it just comes with this idea that people can't wrap their minds around um, a person taking ownership of their body and like their decisions having nothing to do with what another person thinks. It either turns into this idea of like exploitation or it turns into this idea of um, like demonization. I remember like growing up, like my family would be like, you don't wanna be one of those girls. And I'm like, but wait, I kinda do. Like, <laughs> I think the world doesn't like when women are in control of their own sexuality. And I think being an exhibitionist is definitely a part of that. A lot of society just wants us to like, not only to be like these like timid, prudish women, like they want us to want that too. I guess that there's one thing like I wish I knew getting into the industry, having to constantly like be like, oh yes, it can be feminist. Oh yes, it can be ethical. Like having to constantly defend the fact that porn can be healthy and that sex is not a bad thing. Porn has given me a safe um, outlet to be sexual. The people that I'm working with are tested. Um, the sets that I work on are controlled environments. When I'm on a porn set, it's kind of just like an extension of my regular sex life. Being in the sex industry has definitely made me more comfortable in my skin and made me more steadfast in what my boundaries are. There's a lot of things I love about doing porn and some of the opportunities that it's afforded to me. But one of the coolest things I think is having done, having done adult film now for almost 13 years, I have this library of documentation of myself sexually. I have basically a sexual scrapbook of my sexuality over a decade of time, and I think that that is so cool. It's wonderful to be able to have an archive of yourself that's so explicit. Uh, I often do scenes with lovers um, or with people who have crushes on, so I am engaging with my co-stars in a way that's very genuine and very expressive also as like someone who's an exhibitionist of like how my body is responding sexually like what it sounds like when i come um uh what kind of sex acts my body likes to do i watch every single one of my scenes i've ever shot there is not a single porno out there of myself that i haven't watched beginning to end. It's kind of like keeping a diary and then going back and reading your entries and like reliving the memories. I like that my job is something that I care about and something that I love to do and something that's exciting and you know I get to walk onto a set, I get to get my makeup done, I get to feel pretty and I get to like be part of creating something that people are going to enjoy. As weird as it sounds like I think the way kids grow up thinking like, I want to be an astronaut or I want to be a doctor. Like I grew up thinking I want to be a porn star. I was always really fascinated by sex and just so curious about anything sexual. And I would have regretted it if I had never done porn. Like I always knew that if I don't do porn, I will forever look back on my life and wonder like, what if?